I haven't really mentioned this on the channel at all yet. I was contemplating if I was in the right headspace and my heart wasn't in it. Welcome back to my channel. It's a Tuesday today. So I've just come upstairs with my breakfast smoothie. It is banana and strawberries and peanut butter and a little bit of milk. I've been drinking this for breakfast. Does anyone else go through like phases with breakfast like you're addicted to something for a few months and then you just never want to have it again? Obviously I have my huge mug of coffee because I can't function without coffee. It's really bad. This is nearly the size of my face. Um, right now I'm just finishing up a video um, and then I'm sending it to my manager so she can send it to a company to get like approved and everything And then after that I'm gonna try and work out So I finished my breakfast and I've made my little to-do list for the day I always start my to-do list with something that I've already done so I can like cross it off and feel productive uh, So I set my video off to get approved. I think that'll be up on Sunday. I've been uploading videos on random days but I want to try stick to Sundays now because that's when my favourite vloggers like post her vlogs as well and I was discussing it with Shuffle because she loves YouTube. She's just a YouTube fanatic and she's like Sunday is the day Zara. She's like Sunday morning is the day. The upload day is Sunday. I keep getting comments on my videos asking if I passed my PGCE and what I'm doing with my life. I haven't really mentioned this on the channel at all yet um, but basically what I decided to do, I did the PGC in the pandemic year, so it was completely different. It was very interesting to say the least. A lot of things are different. One of the things that were different is that we only got one placement. Traditionally in a PGCE, you're meant to have two placements, one in Key Stage 1 and one in Key Stage 2, just so when you're hunting for jobs and stuff, you have experience in both Key Stages. And I was in Year 2, and obviously I have an extensive um, work experience in Year 2 now, um, but obviously when looking for jobs, I don't just want to apply for Year 2 jobs, so I thought I would take a year out, do supply teaching for a year, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm with an agency. Another reason I wanted to not go straight into an NQT is that they um, changed it so that NQT is now called ECT which isn't relevant but it's now two years and now that it's two years I just didn't feel like I could dedicate two years. Right now I don't think I'm in the right headspace to go into teaching full time so I was kind of contemplating it last year I was contemplating if I was in the right headspace like if I'd be able to dedicate all that time and honestly like I decided that I really want to focus on YouTube um, so I thought the best thing for me was to focus on YouTube and do supplies so I get like the best of both worlds but I didn't think it was fair to myself or to like the kids if I got if I did an ECT yeah and my heart wasn't in it because I'm really passionate about teaching and like obviously like I care about the kids and stuff so if I was doing a whole year my heart just wasn't in it it's just not fair to them because I feel like kids deserve a teacher who are like all in so I just didn't think I could give my all this year and that's fine like I really struggled with the fact that I'd be taking a year out and I was like oh my gosh like it's gonna set me back a year but honestly like I'm so young right now and I don't want to look back at my life and like regret not focusing on YouTube for a bit because like it's such a cool opportunity and I just don't want to regret like oh like I was so young why was I so obsessed with getting my life on track like I feel like that's what your 20s are for especially your early 20s I feel like you should be exploring every opportunity you have and obviously with teaching, you can be a teacher at any age you want. You can be any age and like change your career. So that was my headspace. And it was really random when I was trying to figure it out. One of my best friends that I really look up to, um, she messaged me like really randomly. I've never even mentioned it to her that I was thinking about taking gap year. And I'll put a screenshot of things she said, but it really um, got to me about what she was saying. She was kind of just saying like, you shouldn't feel pressured to get your life together straight away she was like don't feel bad about taking a year out and like exploring your options but honestly like I'm so glad I took a year out I can't even explain to you guys how much of a good decision this was for me because I can focus on both things at once because also what I found with teaching is 
you have to love it like it's such a hard job primary school teaching secondary school teaching like it's very difficult it takes up all of your time like all of your energy and i think at the end of the day your heart has to be in it it's like what else are you doing it for you're not doing it for the money because the money isn't great but yeah i just wanted to update you because i knew i was getting a few questions um about what i'm doing this year so that's what i am on but i'm really excited um i'm gonna clean my room now because i want my life to be together i literally just talked for 10 minutes but I needed to give you guys the update so it's fine. So I thought I was just doing a mini sort out of my pyjama drawer but I ended up accumulating a lot for charity. This one over here is for the trash though. And then I just finished like giving my room a little clean and I've recently been loving using basically Lush every year around like Christmas time. They come out with their Snow Fairy collection. Um, which just smells insane. It's such a beautiful smell and I got this originally to like spray on myself But I ended up using it as a room spray because I don't really like how it smells on me I use it as a room spray and it makes my room smell so nice. You only need like two sprays well, My room's quite big so I need like two sprays, but it's so intense it stays all day So I'm going in the shower now and I thought it'd be interesting to show you what products I use in there I have my Coco and Eve head wrap towel. This is a microfiber towel, which is way better for your hair so I use that to dry my hair and then a normal body towel for my body obviously it's made such a difference honestly on the overall breakage of my hair I've also started using silk pillowcases so that helps and like wide tooth combs and everything and then I got this for my for myself from Boots every Christmas like or winter time Boots start doing all their sales um so this was on a really good deal so it's the flake away it's a body scrub um from soap and glory for my hair mask today i'm using it's a 10 i haven't used this yet so i'll let you guys know how it goes it's their miracle hair mask so you shampoo first put this in leave it in for about two to three minutes and wash it out um i love using hair masks in the shower the last one i had was coco and eve and i've raved about that so much and after my shower i use the sand and sky australian pink clay this is amazing i've almost finished it i think i've got like three use uses out of it um, left and then it's done but I absolutely love this stuff you can use it two to three times a week and I've already talked about it so much so I won't bore you but yeah I love sand and sky and um, their products are insane and just to moisturize my body after the shower I use the Vaseline Coco Radiant body oil I know loads of people don't like the smell of this but I love it as you can see I've got like a few drops left so I'm going to put it like that whilst I'm in the shower so it all goes to the bottom. Now i got my silk pyjamas. So. Hey guys, not sure about this setup but we will go with it. So I worked out, I've showered now, I feel so fresh. Just wanted to show you my nighttime skincare routine. I feel like I haven't talked about skincare in a minute. So right now, for night, I've been using the Pharmacy Honey Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. I actually need to message Shafa and ask her if I am meant to be using this every day because I have been. Guys, this combination, so this Honey Moon Glow with face cream that is also from Pharmacy, it's called the Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. Um, it's very thick, I really like it. So also, can we just with the packaging? It's so beautiful, the packaging. So these two together, I put them on and honestly, like I wake up with glowy skin and I just love, not glowy skin, like dewy skin. Then I use this Anime's Animus Rehydrating Ginseng Toner. I never see a difference using toner. I just like how it makes my skin feel like it feels so hydrated right now. And it feels really good, so I keep using it. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Hi guys. So I'm just having a little content day today. Yesterday I was doing a supply job at a primary school. It was actually my first time with, um reception like a reception class i've never taught i've never taught kids that young so i was like a bit intimidated when i came in but it was it went really well it was a cute experience and i got to read the gruffalo at the end of the day which always makes me happy if you want to have like more updates about teaching and stuff i talk about it quite a lot on my instagram and i answer loads of dms i get about teaching as well so if you haven't already make sure you follow me on instagram um i've been trying to post more on my stories guys i've been having issues with this camera alhamdulillah i've had it for so long but recently it's just not focusing and it's washing me out so much not the biggest problem i guess there's the blind i don't know if that helps but today i've worked out 
um took a body shower i've just gotten ready i'm gonna do my like fix my hair now and then i'm gonna film the rest of my thrift vlog haul thing that i have coming out um it will be up like way before this vlog is um so if you haven't already check that out and let me know if you like it i'm a bit scared to post it because it's like very chill it's gonna be like a 10 minute video and it's just something new on my channel so i don't know if it will do that well or get a lot of views even so i'm a bit scared to post it but hopefully you guys like it then i want to get an outfit ready for tomorrow for if there's any teaching jobs that come up tomorrow i will be prepared for it um i'm working with like an agency and schools just come to them when they need supply teachers and often um you get messaged like on the day so it's nice to have like things prepared in the morning i want to go to morrison's as well because i ran out of like granola bars and stuff which i really like taking then i am gonna go to shuffle's house oh my gosh guys i finished seven the seven husbands of evelyn hugo yesterday and i loved it i haven't read a book that i've thoroughly enjoyed in so long um, I have so much to say about it. I don't know, like it was so captivating and yesterday I literally sat for like an hour and a half just finishing it off and after I finished I felt like a bit sad because I'd been reading it for ages. I felt a bit sad that it was over because I feel like I went through her whole life with her because it's told in retrospect um, and she literally goes through her whole life with you. I thought it would be a love story because I was like seven husbands, you know, talking about marriage so that's what I thought going into the book um, but it was completely different like it was about her motivation her drive to become famous and everything she did to get to that place it talked about so many things like grief and loss dreams it talked about a mother-daughter relationships really nicely as well and I really liked the perspective on divorce that they showed it kind of talked about how you shouldn't see divorce as a failure and how you haven't failed I don't know I thought it was nice it's like a refreshing book to read yeah I'm gonna go to Shafar and give it her, but she doesn't know I'm coming I'm gonna surprise her guys just finished getting ready curled my hair don't know how I feel about it but it's fine wearing this cool coat that I got from ASOS I absolutely love it I've worn it a few times now I've got like these Primark gold hoops on and I'm gonna film the video so I just finished the thrifting video here's a little sneak peek of one of the outfits I created I freaking love it it's so me um, but yeah, if you haven't watched that, make sure you go check it out. I'm gonna do some editing now and then we can go to Asda together. Hi guys, a little update on my day. I think I just stopped vlogging for like four hours straight. Um, but I didn't end up going to see Shafar because she went to her friend's house, so she wasn't at home. And then I cleaned the kitchen, prepared a bit of dinner. Um, we're having fajita pasta today and my room's a mess from filming and then I have loads of editing to do as well. I'm in a hoodie, leggings, um, my spooky socks and some Nikes and I'm gonna go pick up Maria from the tram station and she wants to go to get um, ice cream or Starbucks, I don't know. It is Friday. Oh, you can see my smoothie cup in the background. That's a bit gross. So I just got one of my videos back with some notes on it from a company. So I just made those changes and I'm going to send it back to them today. Yeah, I didn't really vlog yesterday. I was really bad with it. So I thought I'd just carry on today. Um, I'm going to get ready, take some outfit pictures, get some TikToks done. I never post on TikTok, but I really like TikTok. <coughs> it's one of my favorite apps. I think it goes like youtube tiktok than like instagram but i love tiktok it's so fun to be creative on there and you can just post whatever like it's really fun um but yeah the sun is shining today yesterday was very rainy i'm not gonna work out today but i think i'm gonna book swimming later on in the day um i'm gonna see if my friends want to go as well oh my gosh my days are so boring that's what i'm doing i don't even think i'm doing anything on the weekend i'm probably just gonna be editing so I won't bore you guys with that. But yeah, I'm gonna go to Shuffle's I'm gonna get ready and go to Shuffle's house and taking the book so she can read it and then we can discuss it. I don't even know what outfits I wanna shoot. I have an idea in my head. Taking autumn outfit pictures in this beautiful park. Don't worry, people can see me, so I feel safe. And yeah, I love this tree. And my outfit is super cute. Got a beret on, of course. 
hello just finished taking pictures at the park um i really want to go get like a pumpkin drink from starbucks because i haven't done that yet so i screenshot i don't know if you guys follow this girl called nori on um instagram she's called like nori anna or something i don't know but i love her fashion uh i'll put a screenshot of her instagram here so you can follow her and a screenshot of the screenshot i took of her story um because it was like some pumpkin drink and I wanted to try it because I've tried the hot one and I really didn't like it so I was like maybe I'd like it on ice I don't know like it's if it's not nice it's fine but I really thought because of the person I am I'd like a pumpkin drink you know like look at me I am full uh but I feel really full in my in my beret and my woolly cardigan even though it's quite hot today so I'm really hot but it's fine um, and then I'm gonna go home, clean my room, and get to editing. I still haven't asked my friends if they're swimming today. Oops. Let me go get my Starbucks and then I'll find out what I'm doing in the evening. I might watch like a Halloween film as well because I'm in the mood. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Thank you. Hi, um, can I get a pumpkin frappuccino with oat milk, please? No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you okay guys i actually already tried it for my instagram story like i did a taste test. i actually kind of like it so it's a pumpkin spiced frappuccino with um oat milk and i got cream on top as well and i actually quite like it i think because it's cold it's not that strong it is still strong but it's not extreme and i got coffee in it so that kind of balances it out the aftertaste is very strong but i like it i'll probably get it again as well it's quite nice <laughs> guys so the sun has nearly set i thought i'd give you a quick little asda haul i got two pumpkins because me and mario will be carving pumpkins tomorrow i'm so excited i got bagels bagel thins i prefer bagel thins because i think the normal bagels are too filling they used to have these very really nice things called pizza bagels but they didn't have them so i just got normal seeded bagels i got some breakfast bars these are the belvita dark chocolate and hazelnut breakfast bars i don't know if any other teachers are like this but i literally live off these um and then i got some strawberries because we don't have any at home you guys know i love fruit <laughs> by now i literally love fruit i got the best makeup remover ever it's so cheap and if you have waterproof mascara if you use waterproof mascara use this it is amazing put it on a round cotton a cotton round and then i kind of just softly work it through my eyelashes and then it all comes off and then i got sally hansen's insta dry red nail polish i've lost my red nail polish i used to have this really nice red nail polish from primark bright red's my favorite nail color love having bright red nails then i got two books i love the asda book section um so Marianne Keys, she makes, she writes amazing chicklets. So like, you know, chick flicks is like movie. Well, the reader equivalent to that is chick lits. But Marion Keys makes really good lighthearted books. Well, not lighthearted books, but she talks about life in a very lighthearted, fun way. Now her books are usually very long, but they're really easy to get through. So this one's called Grown Ups. Quote thing says, superb, warm hearted and highly entertaining. And her books are quite funny and warm-hearted. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, warm-hearted. I'll read you the blurb. <clears throat> Meet Jesse, Cara and Nell. Married to brothers Johnny, Ed and Liam Casey. Three very different women tied to three very different men. Every family occasion is a party until the day the secrets spill out. Playtime is over, but where are the grown-ups? And I got like a spooky book. If I'm not reading like light-hearted books i love like thriller books it says in the blink of an eye your child is gone that's what the cover looks like i think i'm gonna read this now because i think it's appropriate for october okay i'm gonna go home now because i've literally been out i told my dad i'm gonna go take outfit pictures and it's been like two hours so just got in my room and i forgot about the mess i made so i gotta clean this up before i start editing this vlog has literally been all over the place, but I know I said I was gonna clean my room and have like a quiet night in, but my friends just messaged me saying that they were going out and I'm gonna go. 
which isn't usually like me because I was in my pajamas like ready for the evening to just be a chill evening but I was like you know what I haven't been out in a while with my friends so yeah I'm gonna go out kind of excited got my black hoodie and black joggers on and I know my friends aren't gonna be in it so I'm not gonna vlog oh yeah so you season three is out and I'm so excited to watch it I love you it's um a show on Netflix oh they're here bye Hey guys, I'm back home now. I just had so much fun. We just got start. Well, they got Starbucks, and then we walked around South for Keys for ages. And I'm in my pajamas now. I'm gonna get some pasta, and then watch you season three. Hi guys. So it is Monday today. Remember how I said that I was gonna carve pumpkins with Maria? Um, we actually ended up being busy the day that we were gonna do it, and now she's like busy till like for another three weeks so I'm gonna carve pumpkins with my friend Louisa. I'm so excited haven't seen her in so long um so I'm really excited she lives in London now so she's back in Manchester for a bit gonna go to her house we're not sure what we're doing yet we don't know if we should eat out or like stay in every time I go to her house we end up staying in anyway so we'll probably just do that but yeah I'm really excited thought I'd show you my outfit because pretty cute I'm wearing dungarees which I never do I don't know, I feel like I look like a little farmer. So these are the dungarees, they are from Hollister, I got them sent to me I think a year ago. But yeah, I've got just a black top underneath and then my hair was pretty frizzy so I just clipped it up and I've got some hoops in and I'm ready to go. Hi guys, made it to our house, got the pumpkins with me. Very excited for tonight. This is Louise's dog, he's the same size as me. I think he weighs more than me. He's a star. We're gonna watch Halloween. I've never watched it before. I get really creeped out after horror films. How do you look Halloween the season and then? I don't know. Louisa said she doesn't trust me because I love Halloween. <laughs> I, d I don't even celebrate. That's the thing. Like I don't do anything on Halloween. I just love the whole October. That's really weird. Well. But we're gonna cut some that's pumpkins so now. Really, it's really shy. I don't know what's really wrong with me. Hi guys! It's so I didn't even ask if you wanted to go Sorry. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Hi everybody. Lights on us, so that's okay. So we just we've carved our pumpkins and I'm gonna do a poll when we get back to see whose is the best on Instagram. And then we just picked up Florida's. I filmed I filmed a second and then someone was stood behind me and it was very embarrassing. But Florida's is one of those Manchester burgers that you have to try. So we just finished our food and we're watching it and I'm so scared right now. Um, but we're just getting candles so we can light up the pumpkins and then you guys can tell us which one's the best. But I have to go home now because I work tomorrow. I just said yes to a two day cover shift for a year one class. So yeah, I need to get my stuff together for tomorrow. 